This video is about a dot b, or the scalar product of two vectors. a dot b is mod a, so the Pythagoras of a, times mod b, the Pythagoras of b, times cos theta, where theta is the angle between the two vectors. So here we've got two vectors. We've got a as 2i minus j plus 3k, and we've got b as minus 6i plus 3j. We're asked to find a dot b. So there's a, there's a really easy way of finding a dot b. We times the i's together, times the j's together, times the k's together, and add them all up. So, so we've got the i's here, we've got 2i and minus 6i. So we do 2 times minus 6 plus times the j's together. So minus 1 and 3. Minus 1 times 3 plus the k's times together. So 3 times 0. There's no k for b. So it's 0k. So to find a dot b times the i's times the j's times the k's and add them up. So we've got negative 12, negative 3, so take away 3 plus 0, so that's negative 15. So a dot b is negative 15. And we can use that for part b to find the angle between the two vectors. So we've got a dot b, we've got this part, we need to find mod a and mod b. So the Pythagoras, mod a, so that's the square root of 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 3 squared. We don't have to worry about the negative because negative 1 squared and 1 squared are the same thing. So that gives us root 14 and mod b, the Pythagoras of b, so the square root of 6 squared plus 3 squared. So 36 plus 9 is 45. So mod b is root 45. So we can substitute all these into the formula now. We've got negative 15 equals root 14 times root 45 cos theta. So we want to get theta by itself. So divide by root 14, root 45. That gives us negative 15 over root 14, root 45 equals cos theta. And to get theta by itself, we shift cos or arc cos. So shift cos negative 15 over root 14 root 45, type it into the calculator, and we get to one decimal place 126.7 degrees. Okay, so the same thing again, we're going to find a dot b and find the angle between them, so find theta. If you want to pause the video and give it a go, you can, or just keep watching, and I'll go through this one as well. So a dot b is going to be the i's times together, so negative 1 times negative 2, plus the j's times together, 3 negative 2's, plus the k's times together, negative 5 times negative 1. So that gives us 2, take away 6, plus 5, which is 1. So a dot b is 1. Then we're going to find theta, so let's find mod a, which is the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared plus 5 squared, so root 35. And mod b, the square root of 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 1 squared, which is root 9, so 3. Substituting in, so we've got 1 equals mod a times mod b, so 3 root 40, 
3 root 35 cos theta divide both sides by 3 root 35 and shift cos so we've got the arc cos of 1 over 3 root 35 type it into the calculator and we get our 86.8 .8 to one decimal place we can also use the a dot b to find whether two lines are perpendicular if two lines are perpendicular the angle between them is 90 degrees so theta equals 90 and if theta equals 90 degrees we've got cos 90 which is 0 so we'll have mod a mod b times 0 which will be 0 so if two lines are perpendicular a dot b is 0 so to determine whether two lines are perpendicular we see if a dot b equals 0 which part of the equation of the line are we looking at so if you remember the equation of a vector line this is a point on the line plus a variable times the direction and we are interested in the direction we want to know where the line is going and what direction is it going so we're looking at the directions when we're doing a dot b so the two lines are perpendicular if a dot b equals zero so that will mean negative three times negative two plus negative one times one plus two threes so that's a dot b and we'll see what it equals so that is six minus one plus six so that'll be eleven so a dot b is eleven it's not zero so they're not perpendicular if we wanted to find the angle between the two lines we can do mod a so mod a so we're saying this is a so we've got three squared plus one squared plus two squared all square rooted so root 14 mod b it's the same numbers so 2 squared plus 1 squared plus 3 squared all square rooted which will also be root 14 so a dot b is 11 which equals root 14 times root 14 which will be 14 cos theta so dividing both sides by 14 we've got 11 over 14 equals cos theta shift cos so theta equals arc cos of 11 fourteenths type it into the calculator and we get 38.2 to one decimal place so they're not perpendicular the angle between them is 38.2 degrees here's another question so pause the video give it a go find out whether these two lines are perpendicular okay so we're looking at the directions which are there so we've got a dot b and if a dot b equals zero the two lines are perpendicular so a dot b is two times the i's two threes times the j's negative one times five times the k's one negative one so we've got six take away five take away one and that is zero so they are perpendicular 